going to be right. about it. It's going to be about the fact that that often local news media is not reliable anymore to report the news because of the fact they're making money off of the people they're reporting news on. Is news really news? Yeah, so they bury the lead. But here we go. <laughs> this is old camera. And this is not a spring chicken. So many times when you're watching the news, is the news really the news? Locally, it probably isn't because as we have found out firsthand, we told people uh, Actually, this has happened multiple times. Yeah, but we, it's happened. We were in Las Vegas. We were stranded. We couldn't get out of the hotel we were in because the flood waters kept us from getting out of the hotel. And God, it was. I mean, you, if you basically to go out to leave the hotel, they were handing out trash bags to put on your feet because of the water everywhere. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and they basically the reporting with the local news media people were enjoying the fun time they were having in the rare rains in Las Vegas. No, it was a god awful flood, folks. They had water like this on the sidewalks, mm -hmm. and water four foot deep in the garages, you know. And uh, but locally, we had the opportunity to see what the lo new local news media considers to be important. Is it is reporting the news or burying the lead because of the fact that the companies you're doing business with are part of the news? They chose to bury the lead. Yeah, and some of you are going, well, why would they do something like that? Well, because sometimes. For example, like in Las Vegas, it may be bad for business. Bad for the city, huh? Really bad for the city to say they got four. Or foot. bad for the advertisers. Yeah. But in Los Angeles, we, we were coming back from the Orange County Auto Show, which is the last day you should have went and saw it was a nice show. Um, and we, we needed to get gas. So uh, we know that there's a gas station is over in one area, which we won't tell you, because if I tell you, you don't even go there, that are always considerably cheaper than the gas where we're at, there's like there's multiple stations within a block of here, so we deliberately went over there. And my God, the gas was like 20, I know it was like 28 cents higher than when you left this morning. Listen, to that 28 cents it was 28 cents higher. We, we because it was higher, we figured, oh God, this is a mistake. So we put two gallons of gas in and started driving back looking for gas prices to go down and look at that price is not what it was when we drove by hours ago. And the reason why we were paying attention to all of it is because I needed gas. So oh, yeah. I don't know about you, when you're traveling, you're going, oh, I'm going to this area and gas tends to be lower, so you yeah. pay attention to all the gas prices. Because we know what the gas is in one place. Well, maybe the gas alongside the road is cheaper, so mm -hmm. it wasn't. But we, we finally, we had to pull off finally because we had to go to the store. and. Um, as we're driving down the street, we're looking at the gas prices, and they're comparable to what 28 cents a gallon would have been higher if uh, you know if they had to raise their if they raised the rate 28 cents a gallon, like it was 250 and raised it to 278. That's how it works. But we saw we saw a station. That thought, oh gas, my gosh! Look at the price. That that price is low. The price was it was comparable to what we were here when we left. So oh, so to get done with the store, we're gonna. We're going to go, go over there right up off the bank and get gas. Uh, when we came back, it was 28 cents a gallon higher. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we discovered something unique as we continued back. Even the independents that have no connection to the major gas companies were 28 cents a gallon higher. That's a remarkable part. Yeah. And there were different, different chains, different, I mean, that it was across the board. Everybody. And then uh, the news media reported, well, gasoline prices rose 17 cents almost immediately on the fact that a refinery had shut down. Well, by the time they did the report, the refinery was back in operation. Of course, the high gas price is still stuck. Yeah, and this afternoon, you know, okay, this is a holiday weekend for a lot, for some people, like schools and things like that. Mm -hmm. Friday, they didn't tell you it was 32, 28 cents a gallon. Saturday, they didn't tell you it was 28 cents a gallon. This afternoon, after the holiday, basically, people are coming back and you're not going to see it. The local media, well, the gas actually rose 32 cents a gallon. Mm -hmm. 32. We told people uh, when it happened, it was 28, mm -hmm. and it was, it, and they ignored us. People laughed at us. Well, the gas didn't go up that high. Yes, it did. Mm -hmm. So you know, um, sometimes you're not getting the truth from local stations because they are burying the lead in order to protect advertising revenue. Mm -hmm. And they figure it showed today, though, folks. They killed their holiday.
totally killed it. People were not out on the roads. I mean, part of it is we were out this morning, and I'm looking, and it's like, I've never seen the road this empty at this hour. Yeah, yeah. the weather's nice. I mean, there's nobody. The, gro the department store, the parking lots are empty. The grocery lots are empty. The road, I mean, you could drive down. It looked like, uh, you know, the shutoff for Carmageddon. There were so few cars on the road. This is not normal for Los Angeles, especially the 405 with nobody mm -hmm. on it. Everybody knows the 405, people, you know, they get born, they live, and they die on the 405. So, but um, maybe when somebody tells you something that has not, we don't have any axe to grind in a business. We don't have advertisers from the industry, so we simply tell you the truth because as we tell people, we have a dog as a boss. Well, part of the reason why we we're paying attention is, well, actually, the reason why we're making such a point about it is we're totally flabbergasted yeah. at how much it had gone up in one day, yeah. and then we were flabbergasted as to what was being told to the audience. It was not the same thing whatsoever. Yeah. But uh, we got to hear more about this because they don't expect the gas to go down anytime soon. I know, and the refinery's back open. Yeah, it was back open with an hour that were going down. Okay, but put it this way, uh, we do know the stations that filed complaints about the high price of gas are not open. Oh, they did? They're shut down. Mm -hmm. So until next time, this is old Cam. And this is not a spring chick. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for information, go to www.moneybowen.net on the net or to our more commercial site, nbnnewsvideoweb.com. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us for our daily newscast in 3D. And if you're following us on, if you're on Facebook, like us, follow us on Twitter, pin us on Pinterest. And thank you once again over for uh, 250 million links on the internet.